Hello everyone, welcome to Import. I'm Shiji Mohan and in this video, I'm going to take you through vowel sounds. Now, vowels vary from language to language, country to country and region to region. And you all know that English alphabet has 26 letters out of which 21 are consonants and 5 are vowels. But when it comes to pronunciation, there are 24 consonant sounds and 20 vowel sounds. But before we proceed, let me tell you about the video in which I've touched all the 24 consonant sounds with examples and I've also classified these sounds into voiced and voiceless consonant sounds. The link is provided in the description, so have a look at it. Now first let's find out the difference between consonant sounds and vowel sounds. Now a consonant is pronounced with trapped sounds. Now if you take the consonant sounds p and b, the air produced to pronounce these sounds are blocked by lips. And again if you take another consonant sounds like t and d, again the air produced is blocked but in this case by the tongue when it hits the upper palate. In the previous example the air is blocked by the lips. So which means consonant sounds are produced through articulation. Tongue, teeth, lips, upper palate, all are involved while uttering the consonant sounds. Now, what about vowel sounds? Now, if you take the vowel sound E, U, in all these cases, the mouth is open. There is no obstruction of air. There is no blockage of air. E, E, U, isn't it? So that is the difference between vowel sound and consonant sound. Now just forget the consonant sounds. Here we have the list of vowel sounds and there are 20 vowel sounds. And these sounds are divided into monophthongs and diphthongs. And there are 12 monophthongs and 8 diphthongs. And in this video, let's keep aside diphthongs and let's focus on monophthongs. Monophthong is simply a vowel. Now mono means single or one and thong means tone or sound. So monophthong means a single sound and a monophthong is produced with exactly one tone and the same mouth position. So when you utter a monophthong, the speech organs do not change its position and that is why monophthongs are also called pure vowels or simple vowels or stable vowels. Now once again take a look at the list of vowel sounds that is monophthongs and the first monophthong that we are going to discuss is E. E. And here are a few words in which E sound occurs. Feel. Peak. Eat. Reach. Leap. Now in all these words, E sound occurs. Now the next one of thong is E. And the words are fill, pick, it, rich and lip. Now before we hop into the rest of the vowel sounds, let me tell you that monophthongs are further divided into long vowels and short vowels. Now as we go on, let's classify it into long vowels and short vowels. Then the first examples, that is the first sounds E and E. E is a long vowel and E is a short vowel. Now let's move on to the other monophthongs. The next monophthong is U. U. And the words are good, put, sugar, look, took. And if you take the word good, the letters O-O produce the sound U. 
good and if you take the examples put and sugar the letter u produce a sound u sugar put now let's move on to the other vowel sound that is u and the words are cool fool gloomy june noon now in this case u is a short vowel and u is a long vowel now the next sound is e e and the words are egg friend tell dead clever now if you take the word friend the letters i and e together produce a sound e and if you take dead the letters e and e together produce a sound e and if you take clever the first e produce a sound e so that's about the sound e and again this is a short vowel now let's move on to the other monophthong a uh, examples alive mother clever teacher about a uh, about so the sound a uh. now if you take clever again er towards the end of the word clever produce a sound a uh. clever mother teacher about a live and the next sound is a uh, as in learn girl shirt turn curve now next is a uh, call shot wall morning door so again this is long vowel and the previous vowel that we have discussed is also long vowel that is a uh sound shirt learn so these two vowels are long vowels and the next monophthong is a eh, as in angry shabby marry stand fan now this is a short vowel and the next short vowel is a uh, as in tough cut mud umbrella courage now if you take the word courage o and u together produce the sound a uh. and in the word umbrella u letter produce a sound a uh. and if you take tough o u produce a sound a uh. so that's also a short vowel and the next one is a uh. and the examples are army large garden father alarm now in the example alarm the second a produce a sound a ah. and if you take father a a letter produce a sound a ah. and in army a letter produce a sound a ah. now move on to a oh. and the examples are lot stop horror knock pot now if you take horror the first o produce a sound a oh. now a oh is a short vowel and a ah, as in army is a long vowel a ah, and a oh. and that brings to the end of the session i'll come with diphthongs in another video and if you felt that this class was beneficial then don't forget to give a big fat thumbs up also share it with your friends and do subscribe so thanks for your attention and see you soon